my morning routine. Right. Those are all meds, and over here, meds supply. So I've got to do this every morning. I don't know, it looks a lot, but it's about six or seven different kinds of meds every morning, two in the evening. Anyway, today I thought I'd we'll go out with you guys and we'll take in sea. And I thought we'd do a little bit of a difference today. Um, I'm going to go on, the theme is basically, uh, I thought the theme could be the, London, the Great London Fire. So I thought I'd go and see things that are related to the Fire of London today. So <clears throat> it's quite early. It's 9.02, early-ish. So let's see how we get on. Train now is Southbound service to Morden and Wildbanks. Thank you, boss. Okay, guys, we're up. Well, you can see we're at St Paul's start of the walk, and it's a pretty really crappy day. I'm just checking out a location here, see which way we're going to go. Yeah, I've got the jacket on uh, Insta because it's sort of drizzling. That's the, um, what's it called? Oh, it's not the uh, diving case, it's the other one. I can't think of the name of it, but you can see it there. As of the start of most of my walks, I try and get um, a time lapse. But for a good time lapse, we need a lot of movement, and there's not not a lot happening here. So the time lapse won't be that good. <sighs> Got Millennium Bridge down there. That's where I had my heart attack last time. going to give him see about, well it needs about 10 minutes really for time lapse. So we're going to be heading down that way anyway, so I'll talk again in a minute. Okay guys, we're at the first waypoint of this walk and it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, St Paul's Walk and we're heading down towards London Bridge and Tower Bridge. Um, so today's theme is uh, Fire of London, so we come to the Thames because in Fire of London days, I think the Thames was used pretty, pretty much. So that's a good place for us to start. The next stop is going to be London Bridge. The weather is really drizzly, so we're going to get rain on that case. I'll clean it as much as possible, but we can only work with what we've got, I suppose. The sad thing is, I've actually walked so long here to get here. So I've got to walk back. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. It's Glavin C and uh, let's head down towards London Bridge.
Oh, nobody knows. Okay, we're at um, London Bridge, as you've seen. Or maybe you're going to see. Um, the reason we stopped at London Bridge here is because back in the day, um, there used to be houses, you know, like old houses all along it. It's like a little, sh little village on its own right back then. And um, when the, uh, the fire started, the wind luckily was blowing the other way. So that's why it never crossed the bridge. I mean, that's obviously a different bridge now, but you get the idea. Anyway, the wind was blowing that way away from the bridge, so the houses that were all along it could have been a good link for the fire to cross the river, um, but that didn't happen, so that's good. Still wet and miserable. Oh, my cloth's come off the insta. I was covering it up, so I just wiped it. Now this is all wet. <laughs> anyway, uh, talk to you in a minute. I'm going to grab in Steve and carry on. Oh. Okay, this church here um, is one of the things of interest apparently on this walk. I <laughs> know. Oh, but apparently inside that church is a model of the old London Bridge. But I'm not sure if it's going to be open to us or not, so I'll have a look anyway. But I thought I'd throw this one in. And uh, yeah, take a look. Okay, uh, we're at the uh, your monument now, the Five London Monument. Looks like it's got a queue. Just going in there. So we can go right up to the top. But the, what I was actually looking for was Pudding Street, where the Five London started. I believe that's down. Down that way, somewhere. So that was supposed to be first, so I've obviously gone long on the walk somewhere. Because this was, should have been second. So, I'll take a wander down there with Insty. East is on the second back, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you in a minute. Okay guys, we're in um, St Michael's Alley, it's the alleyways um, that were quite common in London back in the day and that sort of shows you how the fire spread so quick because as you can see all the buildings are quite close together and this is modern, more modern now. It get lost in here quite easy. So, the moral of the story is, when the fire was going on, people 
who are trying to escape the fire or have to deal with alleyways like this with probably carts and all sorts of shit in their way. As you can see it's quite narrow. The reason I'm talking to you now on the uh, on the GoPro is my Insti, two of the batteries are flat even though I charged them. So obviously the charger wasn't working. So that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna be something I need to look into. If I keep stopping it because this keeps talking in my ear. It's navigation. It says we're coming up to a waypoint. Yeah. I might have to do a lot of the vlog on the uh, GoPro because I've that's the last battery. Insta's on there, so let's see how it goes. It might last us. I have got a power bank, but I left the other power bank at home, thinking I had two batteries. So we'll go. So we'll try and follow this map through these alleyways. As far as people know where they're going here, because I'm lost already. Oh my God, I don't come up here much. So let's see how we get on. Okay, sadly, um, we found one of these monuments, and uh, but you can't get a good picture of it because a van's parked in front of it on a double yellow, naughty naughty. But basically, I don't know if you can see, um, and it's got a well was first made and a house or collection of it. Well, I had my well in the Mayor of London in the 1282. So there you go. A bit of history for you. So, hopefully, if you ever come up here, there won't be a van stuck in front of it. Home track, basically. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of traffic wardens around here. So that'll move them on quick enough. Anyway, we'll carry on. Okay, uh, yeah, this is um, one of the churches on the route that burnt down and got rebuilt. And I've got this voice in my ear going on about navigation still. It's a really, um, really a shitty day. There's a cat inside that church, well, that round the corner. But you go and have a tea or something, a coffee. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not really talking much, but too many people looking at me. <laughs> Talk in a minute. Okay, we're in Guildhall Yard. Uh, it's at the arcade over there. 
of the Guild Hall Church. Yeah. This was actually a point of interest at St. Lawrence. Uh, this was a point of interest on a far walk, so not quite sure of the history, but interesting. I know we need a financial bit. Sort of mixture of old and new buildings. I'm sure Insty is getting getting some of the shop for you. Yeah. Another word then, that we use. Both the tours going around. Yeah, well, we move on because I don't think this has got much juice left. But <laughs> we'll carry on. No, no, I thought you were. No, no, I just, I just said, no, you're right. Hmm, anyway, I'm about to record this walk off now. Because, well, that's only three miles. I think it's the weather, I've just, like, worn out, so. Yeah. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, I'm on the uh, Morgate train now, going back to New Barnet. And, uh, yeah, feet are killing me. Battery issues today, I'll talk about that on another video maybe. Um, about video prep. Um, yeah. Anyway, talk again soon. Be good out there.